Okay, uh, I'm Professor San. Uh, today I wish to share with you the concern in disaster recovery plan or we can say the most uh, critical concern in the disaster recovery management process. So I come up with the uh, 20s, the, the most of concern. So we go through together whether the, the reality or uh, practice in your enterprise or uh, in your organization in the area of disaster recovery. So actually the the concern during the invoke the BCP uh, relate to the uh, system crisis or system outage. So I will mention the, the most uh, critical concern relate to the invoke the DRP. Okay. Uh, Number one, we refer to the core system configuration may not be synchronized when the DR being activated. Uh, this is uh, most uh, lapses that uh, risk assessor or IT auditor always check up with the, uh, well, we can say the uh, pre-checking state that uh, engineer or stakeholder or uh, operator we need to aware that the core system configuration between the production and the R need to be synchronized like uh, for example like uh, VMware vSphere or other application that we need to uh, maintain the current version from production side to the R side so sometimes we invoke the DRP or we drill or we exercise the DR uh, the alternative side or the DR side cannot activate due to the configuration is uh, was a discrepancy or uh, some part of configuration uh, was not done uh, from the DR side. So when we invoke the DRP or when we in, when we exercise the DR, uh, some certain module or some certain configuration or service. Uh, on the particular fl uh, platform uh, may not uh, synchronize uh, from both uh, perspective uh, from production side and DR side. So uh, this is a uh, experience that you may face with the, the previous uh, DR exercise. Hopefully that you need to uh, understand uh, what is a uh, major risk uh, during or in, uh, during the involving the DRP or we drill the exercise. So the second is a hardware life cycle risk assessment to data center and alternative side or we can say the R side may not be in place. This is a very important that uh, a risk assessor or management need to identify what is uh, the risk uh, associated uh, to the uh, product life cycle uh, between the production side and the side. Uh, when we address this kind of risk, so management uh, may need to provide a, a permanent solution or a, a corrective action to identify the gap uh, on the on the hardware life cycle. Uh, when we address the hardware life cycle, so we can know that a vendor can provide the end of support or can uh, we can address the end of service because some hardware is uh, out of support or out of service. So uh, uh, this is uh, uh, the, the most critical state that uh, reassessor or IT auditor or IT compliant need to uh, proactively address what is the most uh, a chance that lead to be exposure during the uh, DR exercise. So the hardware life cycle risk assessment uh, mainly or objectively we need to address what is a uh, risk that involved with the hardware and or line or hardware and or support. So the next is uh, unaware of detailed task schedule or master pipeline or design person across the stakeholder during the involved the ERP. Sometimes the stakeholder did not aware for the particular or process such as a detailed task or activity need to be done from from tier 1 to tier 2 or to tier 3 something like that 
uh, like a scheduling or master pipeline. So the de designated person that assigned by, assigned by the uh, team lead or supervisor, they need, they need to understand what is the role and responsibility, what is specific task need to be prepared uh, uh, before we conduct the uh, DR exercise. This is a very important that we need to equip the uh, awareness among the, the DR team or DR uh, exercise. So the next is uh, we talk about the unauthorized access to the recovery system that we in recover may be concurred by insider or intruder. This is uh, uh, some part that uh, the management uh, always uh, question to the team lead. What is a system uh, outage and what is the time and period that uh, we need to be covered by proper procedure and process. So we need to protect and also access during the system recovery being uh, recovered. For example, uh, we're supposed to be uh, 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 mentioned about the two scenario. One scenario is a uh, uh, system compromise from ethanol and other, uh, other scenario is a uh, system outtake from internal. So during the system outtake or system crisis, we need to protect the system recovery processing from the unauthorized uh, people. So some, sometimes the, the IT guy or unauthorized people can obtain the availability or, or outtake uh, uh, service to, to intention uh, for, to, to commit the further attack. This is the area that we need to uh, address also. So the next is a uh, wrongly use of customer service response. Sometimes when the company uh, did not provide the service via the system or call system, sometimes the staff uh, that, uh, they did not know how to respond back to the customer. Uh, sometimes they they talk directly to the customer. For example, we we said that uh, we apologize that today our call system was down uh, was down, and we will proceed uh, it up on the system available. This is a very uh, uh, common statement that uh, uh, frontline staff or the people that work directly with the customer will respond like that. This is a very very uh, significant part that. Uh, uh, disaster recovery uh, recovery team or respond team they need to understand what is the impact that the customer uh, uh, know that the organization uh, did not read the system or system that not currently the availability so the customer fear that the company uh, play around with the, uh, their transaction so this is very important that we need to conduct the code or respond uh, by the uh, team lead to respond to the pro to to the customer with the the code of response. The code of response we refer to the protocol that we need to respond back to the customer during the system crisis. Okay, the next is a uh, wrongly message escalated to the unauthorized person of crisis event. This is a very important that uh, some part of the crisis event that uh, 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 some officer or operator wrongly escalate to the wrong person. So this is a very important that uh, the that, uh, communication or marketing team need to address the event, that the uh, recessor need to address this part also. So we need to assign the, the person in charge from the MACOM to escalate what is a, a, a critical moment, what is a crisis event, uh, to minimize the misunderstanding, to minimize the, the exposure of risk, or we can say the reputation risk is something like that. So we need to escalate properly to the, the disaster recovery uh, response team. So the next is uh, not adhere to the offline transition execution process. This is a very important uh, we need to activate this process in terms of uh, system is uh, was not available at the moment. So at the time being, at the time being, 
the 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 attraction uh, uh, no more available to access at a period that the system recovery team uh, being executed so we need to activate the offline transition to perform the transition as a manually and wait for the system up when the system up so we need to clear backlog and we we take the manual transition and reposting up on the uh, uh, testing scenario of the uh, DRP so the next is an unmanageable or customer last land transition this is a very important uh, during the crisis period the customer may walk in to the counter uh, to the branch to the nearest branch and perform some some part of transaction like a deposit or uh, uh, to uh, to access the uh, the system to to check uh, the query or the balance so when the system not available so uh, it disaster recovery team lead they need to route back to the alternative alternate system to identify what is the latest balance uh, from particular uh, customer something like that so the, the the team that involved with the disaster recovery exercise they need to understand and need to address that particular event that may not happen uh, during the, the 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 crisis so the next is uh, not available of vendor engineer technical support on out system or we can say prolong or system recovery process sometimes uh, 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 disaster recovery team did not uh, address properly what is the uh, certain uh, uh, vendor engineer uh, to be conduct the on-site support during the system outage or system crisis so when the the, the engineering from the vendor did not aware the the requirement uh, so uh, the team lead from the vendor engineer may not fulfill the requirement and not aware the the, the principle of, of the conduct uh, to recover the, the, the critical system during the crisis so sometimes the vendor may may misunderstanding some critical part of the critical uh, system and service to lead to prolong or system recovery process so the next is uh, all communication during the crisis even not record the key stakeholder communication chain uh, uh, such as approval process and case by case approval so this is very important that we need to address this kind of risk so when the crisis uh, incur during the time being so all the communication channel we need to record and and track uh, especially for the approval process and case by case approval we, because we need to identify what is the unauthorized access or authority abuse during the approving authority process during the uh, crisis moment so this is a proof for the auditor when the auditor asks the transition uh, like this so we need to prove the auditor that the all communication during the uh, crisis we need to document and record it so the next is an uh, incomplete transition very question when the system attend this is a post state of uh, the system recovery so sometimes uh, they, they did not uh, fulfill the requirement that mentioned in the the DRP, uh, disaster recovery plan or BCP, business continuity plan, or we can say did not fulfill the contingency plan, something like that. So the the team lead uh, of the disaster recovery processing, we need to check up or spot check what is a transition, what is the critical uh, transition need to be fulfilled. Uh, after the system uptime so the next is a post uh, verification state on the system recovery not carry out this is sim uh, similar in the, the stop uh, uh, 11 but this one we focus on the uh, system restoration state restoration state mean, meaning that uh, we need to make sure that the, the, al the alternate uh, system uh, need to be healthy and and uh, recover uh, into the requ uh, requirement state 
So the post verb present state we refer to the uh, the the healthy state after system recovery. So the next is un unavailable of the system and service triggers uh, starting up to the core module or system. So some part when we uh, recover the system, there's some module or some uh, critical uh, uh, module of the system uh, cannot start up. This is a very important that the uh, uh, controller also need to check up what is a certain uh, concern or certain service or application or module of the system we need to trigger properly. Okay. So the next is a uh, incomplete the system failover process. And this is uh, related to the system and infrastructure. So the infrastructure team or lead may not aware the uh, we can say the uh, the detailed work plan uh, when we fail over to the alternative side. So sometimes they they miss some part or miss a certain part. So they lead to incomplete the system uh, failover process. So the next is a prolong of the subsystem error escalation to the busy busy um, team. So during the crisis, the incident handling uh, team uh, or, or operator uh, did not uh, go through the, the subsystem or error. And when they miss some part of the subsystem error uh, detection, they may uh, lately to escalate to the BCM team. So the BCM team will record or compile all issues during the system crisis. So this is uh, very important that the BCM team need to update promptly from the uh, disaster recovery team. So the disaster recovery team need to address the subsystem error and escalate promptly to the BCM team. So the next is a network and system facility support not ready for the recovery state. This is a, we refer to the readiness state of the infrastructure and system support uh, when we need to uh, uh, swing back or uh, recover to the, the healthy state. So this is a very important that the team lead uh, may overlook to, to verify or check up the system facility or uh, system module or system criteria that need to fulfill or support the recovery processing. So the next is a not closely oversight the critical process or the recovery state. This is a part of management uh, uh, management role that uh, supervisor or team lead they need to closely oversight what is the critical process, what is the critical system, what is the critical infrastructure component, what is the teammate and stakeholder need to be involved. So they need to address all kinds of area uh, to be the readiness state of the system recovery processing. So the next is uh, not fully aware of the system or infrastructure recovery component by core support team or incident handling team. This is a we uh, we we emphasize on the core support team or incident handling team that did not aware or adhere the the requirement for the system recovery or infrastructure recovery processing. So the next is an incomplete critical integration module while being supported by vendor. This is uh, that I mentioned that, uh, earlier that relate to the unqualified service or unskilled set uh, from the vendor. So uh, the, the engineer from the vendor may not uh, fulfill the requirement. So some module or some part uh, cannot complete the, the critical system uh, integration during the system recovery processing. So the last one is the absence of post-mentum report and evaluation the directive absent. This is a very important. After the DR drill or DR exercise, we need to conduct the post-mentum report. The post-mentum report will refer to the, the further improvement or we can say the we collect all encounter during the crisis event. What is a lapsus? What is a gap point or control? witness what is the, the mistake during the crisis. So we compile all together. So we come up with a post report. Uh, after we issue the report to the crisis management committee or the team lead. 
So the committee or, ch or chairman of committee will provide the further solution or mitigation uh, a plan to mitigate that kind of risk. So we, we will conduct the, the next DR exercise uh, in, in terms of a uh, better way. So we need to improve from, from exercise to exercise. The last one is uh, evaluation the corrective action. So the team lead or supervisor need to uh, validate what is the corrective action that has, has been done. It means that a, recti a rectification process on artifact that uh, we identify during the crisis activity. So this is um, uh, most uh, lapses that uh, I, I mentioned uh, 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 relate to the disaster recovery management process. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, please like and share. Hello?